Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It's your girl Janae Antoinette. If you're new, welcome. So I know this is not the typical video you're used to seeing on my channel, but if you watched my last video, you know I started my own business. So my business is called Antoinette's Apothecary. It is a candle company, and my candles are 100% vegan handmade with love <laughs> and they also have aromatherapy benefits in them unique to each candle so i am launching my website by the end of this week it is monday right now i'm launching it on saturday on the 26th so i'm really excited let me show you guys some of the products that i made for my last launch i was a part of a pop-up shop and i launched my business there and then i was going to launch my website but then i ended up selling out all my products so i didn't get a chance to launch so this week we're just gonna make some candles take pictures do all that good stuff and get ready for my launch on saturday these are the new glass jars that i will be using i got these from dream vessel they are 14 ounces so they are way bigger and then I just have painted them as well using the baking soda method. These are the new concrete molds that I have. This is a 10 ounce concrete jar. It is just a cylinder and it also has a lid. So that is really handy. I think that's so cute. Um, I also have these square ones, but these are also really cute. I love the square. These are um, six ounces. And then, this is my favorite, favorite, favorite mold i'm in love with this jar it is just like a butt <laughs> mold i think it's so cute and when i saw this mold i had to get it just regular concrete with paint added to it you know to get this beautiful beautiful sage green color i love it i also make body candles that you guys can't really see with this lighting also bubble candles so make wax melts i love wax melts but i feel like pe people still leap on wax melts but number one if you go to a store they're way cheaper than a candle and they last you way longer you can literally put like one one cube in and it'll last you like weeks weeks but a candle if you light it every couple if you light it like every day every other day it'll last you like a week two weeks but one cube two cube two cubes will last you like a month dead ass but yeah so don't sleep on wax melts they're really good you can find some really cute ones on target amazon get you some wax melts y'all so for this collection all of my scents are drink themed this collection is called summer sips so i love a good drink i just turned 21 but you know we've been drinking since young again Anyways, all of my candles are drink themed. So we got Sex on the Beach. That is a kind of beachy, woodsy scent. I love a good masculine scent and that is one. So Sex on the Beach, Bahama Mama, she's very fruity. It's strawberry, guava, and pineapple. Love a good fruity scent. Um, that is the pink jar and then the Sex on the Beach is blue. And then we have Bottomless Mimosa. That is orange. It smells like mimosas. Deadass. And then we have Mojito Mommy. Love mojitos. When I went to Cuba with my sister, that's all we drank. We had like $1 mojitos. Best mojitos ever. But Mojito Mommy, that is a watermelon mojito scent. And then we have Henny Colada. If you know me, you know I love me some Henny. So that is like a pineapple and it's like a pina colada. It's pineapple, coconut. And then we have Purple Haze. You know, if you know, you know. We got purple, purple haze. That is a purple scent, and she is a lavender, frankincense, and orange scent. She's very floral, but she also has like a little, um, a little masculine touch to her. She's cute. Love that. So this video is gonna be kind of vlog style. I just wanted to set up my camera and my lighting so that you know, the video didn't start off looking crazy. Um, cause every time I try and do a vlog, I started off like in my car or something and I just hate the way it looks and I never finish it. So fingers crossed we are going to finish this. So this week I'm just going to basically make my candles, get everything situated with my website, my, like put my labels on my candle, all that good stuff. So I'm just going to take you guys along with me, um, so you guys can see the start of my 
so you guys can see the start of my website the start of my journey and i just want to really record everything so that i can have something to look back on so one day you know when i am a millionaire i'm like wow this is really where i started in the kitchen of my basement <laughs> i started in the kitchen in my basement and now look at me you know so I'm not really going to be talking much while I'm making my candles just because I like to listen to audiobooks or motivational speakers. Um, I love to listen to like, I just go on, on YouTube and type in black women motivational speaking or like watch other people that have candle businesses. I like to watch them prepare for their launches, things like that to just motivate me to keep doing what I got to do. And I found that is what helps me the most like i used to watch tv or listen to music while i did it and i would get really distracted but now when i when i listen to things that motivate me and like inform me give me knowledge things like that i realized it really helps me to be motivated and focus on my business and it just gives me good energy like i just feel great when i do it so that is what I'm going to put on um, and you'll probably hear it like in the background but I'm going to go ahead and start making my candles. Alright so these are all of my glass jars lined up and then here are all of my concrete jars lined up. These look so aesthetically pleasing. I love it. And then I have my some of my body molds that I made. Um, I have to redo that one because her boob fell <laughs> but these are some of them that I made I use these molds so I'm gonna go ahead and do um one of the scents so I just have three more scents to make and I have to redo that blue one all right so this video is not gonna be a detailed video on how I make my candles I'm basically just showing you guys me making my candles getting ready for my launch if you guys want a detailed video on how I make my candles my body candles things like that let me know in the comments below and I will be glad to do that. It's just I have to get these candles done and me going and showing you guys. I know how I do it. This is going to take um, more time than I have. So I'm just going to like put the camera on me and showing you guys and show you guys, you know, me making it. Kind of a ASMR vibes, but not really because it's going to be music in the background. But yeah. Alright guys, so I'm going to go ahead and hot glue my wicks into my jars. You could also use wick tabs, but um, I'm just going to go ahead and hot glue them because I don't have any more wick tabs left. For my butt jars in the 14 ounce jar, I use the wooden wicks 5 inch wicks in 0.75. For the square in the round jars, I use the 5 inch 0.5 wicks. And then for the small texture jars, I use the five inch point three seven five wicks. And these are the Crackling Booster Wick point zero four flat wicks. So I'm gonna go ahead and hot glue all of them in. Baby, you don't know what you do to me. Between me and you, I feel a chemistry. I won't let no one come and take your place. Cause the love you give, you can't be replaced. Alright, so I went ahead and I poured the Sex on the Beach jars. This is what they're looking like. I did it off camera so I can um, figure out how this bad boy works. Because I used to heat up my wax in these pots. And I still do for like my, um, I still do for my body candles because I don't use a lot of wax. I only have three molds for that. So, um... That machine actually works really well. It heats up the wax super fast. Um, and I like that. So I went ahead and poured those jars. But with these, I got a little bit of wax on the side. So I'm really hoping that they come up. Um, I don't know. I'm going to try and get a wet paper towel and clean it up and see if it works. I just don't want to move the jar too much. So I'm going to go ahead and try and clean that up and see how... How it looks hopefully i can get it off hey guys so sorry i look so crusty it is the next day now all right so last night well yesterday the day you saw me making the candles i finished three scents i did purple haze bahama mama and six on the beach and um a little while ago i did bottomless bottomless mimosa i just finished um henny colada and i'm about to do mojito mommy that's the last thing i have to do so this is what 
they're looking like these are the ones i did yesterday and these two i just did today and then you guys can see all this bad boys looking so good i cannot wait to finish um it's like three o'clock right now it actually didn't take me that long to make them today because you know i knew exactly what i was doing it was my first time using the presto pot yesterday so i was a little, I was a little confused but i really love that thing it heats up the wax so quickly you can put mad wax in it i love it i think it's great so if you guys make candles invest in a presto pot it's it's a game changer for real for real so i'm gonna go ahead and make mojito mommy i'm gonna show you guys how i do that um i'm not gonna talk i'm just gonna you know play music over it and show you guys how i make that all right so i have my wax melting in the presto pot this thing takes literally five minutes to melt the wax it's so easy the wax that i use is the virgin coconut soy by the wooden wick company i also use their wicks like i said earlier <laughs> hey guys so i know yesterday's vlog was kind of weird and i didn't really record much but that is because when I was recording making my candles, my phone dropped on the floor and shut off. It like it slammed on the floor and it shut off. And I got so scared I thought my phone was like to turn back on. But it did. So I just left it alone. I was like, let me just leave her alone, let her regroup and chill out. But I basically finished making my candles. It is 8.40 right now. I just finished making my um purple body candles and that was the last of the body candles i had to make i do have to go in and redo one of the thick um blue one and the arched pink one no 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 the um big butt pink one because the arm fell off and then the blue one her boot fell off which is crazy but yeah i have to go in and redo those two and i'm just waiting for my bubble mold to come because all my freaking bubble molds have a hole in it so they keep leaking out when I make the candles. So I'm going to have to wait for that bubble mold to come. But it should come shortly. I ordered it off Amazon. You know Amazon. Two-day shipping. So hopefully that comes soon. So I can go ahead and make them. But I still have like some from my last launch. Um, I have like three of them. And those are the three cents that I didn't get to make. Because they all had a hole in it. Which is perfect. So I'm going to go ahead and take pictures of those. I can still you know upload them on my website and by the time you know my molds get here i can go ahead and make them before you know anyone orders so that is good i'm gonna go to the gym i'm not gonna take you guys with me to the gym just because it's my first day back in the gym in a while and i'm probably not gonna do much i'm probably just gonna do some cardio some abs that's it like i don't think i'm gonna focus on um you know any i might do back actually yeah i'm gonna do cardio abs and back that's what i'm doing so, yeah, time to go to the gym. I'll see you guys later. Hey guys, so remember how earlier I said I was going to the gym? That didn't happen because my car would not start. Literally got dressed for the gym and everything. And then I got in my car, my car wouldn't start. So I think it's my battery. I'm praying that it's my battery because if it is, that means I can just get it replaced because I have warranty on my battery. So I can just get it replaced at AutoZone and then my car will be fine. I'm praying that that is what it is, but we won't see till later tonight after my sister gets off of work. So right now we are going to clip the wicks off of the candles and then we're going to take some pictures
you guys. <laughs> Let me take my glasses off. So it is Thursday. The launch is supposed to be Saturday, but I think I'm going to push it back to Sunday. Just because I've had a lot going on. <laughs> um, but tonight was a full moon. A strawberry full moon or something like that. Strawberry pink full moon. Something like that. But I did a full moon ritual. I washed my hair, cleansed my face, did my skincare. I wrote down what I want to release, burned it, wrote down my manifestations, um, saged, stretched, meditated. And I feel great. I feel really good right now. Um, I just cut up some fruit. Let me show you. Crazy. I just got some fruit, some peaches, um, watermelon, and cherries. So I'm going to eat that and I'm going to put the labels on my jars. That's how behind I am. I haven't even put the labels on my jars. So these are what my jars look like. These are the 14 ounce glass jars. I'm going to call them half full. They're half painted. So these are the half full jars. And... These are my labels. That is what they look like. Super cute. So I'm gonna go ahead and put those on. And oh, let me show you one with the top. All right, these are the tops. Aren't they so cute? So stinking cute. But yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and put the labels on these bad boys. And then um Tomorrow I have to finish taking some pictures. I already took some. This is for my water bottle. But this is kind of the setup I'm using for my pictures. So that was really, you know, what I was doing today. I also had to take my mom to get vaccinated. Um, and then, so I did that. Um, took some pictures. Made some dinner. I made some baked chicken. It's really good. So I did that. Um, so tomorrow, I just got to take my pictures and focus on making my website. So that's pretty much the plan for tomorrow and Saturday because the website is going up on Sunday. Like, it's going up Sunday. My skin looks really good. But yeah, that's what I'm going to do. I'm probably going to watch a movie or a TV show or something like that and just put the labels on my jars so yeah i know i said i was gonna vlog like this whole time and i've been a really bad vlogger oh my god speaking of my camera my freaking phone dropped and it cracked my phone cracked that's so annoying i've never had a cracked phone um, it's really ghetto but it's okay it's okay so yeah i'm just gonna go ahead and do that watch a movie just chillax for the night See you guys tomorrow. It's not that I don't want you here. Hey guys, Future Janae here. So it's been a couple of weeks since I launched my website. Um, for some reason, the footage that I did like after I finished launching my website, it won't upload to my computer. So that's why I'm recording now. Um, and I'm trying to edit everything and then it won't it wouldn't upload for some reason but yeah so I launched my website everything went great the name of my website is Antoinette's Apothecary CC because Antoinette's Apothecary was taken for some reason um but yeah Antoinette's Apothecary CC.com I'll leave the link to it down below so you guys can check it out but I'll also put like a little screen recording on the side um so I was supposed to launch my website on Sunday. It didn't happen till Monday because for some reason I forgot about my EIN number and I couldn't get it until Monday morning. So I launched my website at like Monday at 11 o'clock. Um, and it just looked really great. Like I was so proud of myself, not to toot my own horn or anything, but I think it looks really good. Yeah, so I launched my website and I was also a part of a pop-up shop in Atlanta, it's called Atlanta Indie Market, and I was a part of that with my best friend Kyla. So I'll insert some of the footage. That looks good. There's no water in there. 
Hey guys, so we are setting up um, our tables right now. I'm gonna show you guys what they look like so far. Baby, you don't know what you do to me. Between me and you, I feel a chemistry. I won't let no one come and take your place. Cause the love you give, you can't be replaced. So no one to vlog more but it was so hot bro it was my wig melted off i had to wear a freaking scarf because 30 minutes into us setting up my wig literally melted off my head thank god about a scarf because i would have to go home like i would have been so sick but yeah that was really fun that was really great i sold a lot of candles i met a lot of cool um vendors it was like a it was mainly like black vendors which is really amazing to see a whole bunch of different um black entrepreneurs black small businesses you know so i really love that that's like a great environment i just wish it wasn't so freaking hot in atlanta that day um but that was really fun i love doing pop-up shops if you guys have a small business or a business and you want to make more money with your business try pop-up shops because you get to meet a lot of different people and most businesses are gonna support you you know like you buy from them they buy from your type so like that's kind of the the vibe there so you can make a lot of money especially if it's in a good area that people are gonna come to so try pop-up shops just look for markets pop-up shops in your area especially if you live in atlanta there's a whole bunch down here so yeah try that if you are a small business owner but yeah my website is up and if you guys want to go ahead and check it out um the link will be down below thank you guys so much for watching this chaotic vlog i know my horrible vlogger and i promise i will try and get better but um this is kind of like my first vlog on my channel so please bear with me but um thank you guys so much for watching and please just check out the website if you want you know go ahead and shop if you want um my summer sips collection at Antoine's apothecary if you guys are a business owner please leave your information down below so we can follow each other you know get a little business community growing over here so i feel like that would be really fun so thank you guys so much for watching and as always i hope you have a great rest of your day bye